Now it's time to start using Globiflow to move the lead information through the funnel, as I like to call it. Now the first thing we have is a lead sitting in the lead app that we want to mark as pursue. Now we could in in Podio go into the pursue app and start manually entering in the information when we want to do that after changing the status in the lead app. But Globiflow allows you to do that automatically by just clicking on the category or the status of pursue and then it auto creates the pursue record. Now so to do this first you want to go into your Globiflow account come in here and click on the workspace that you want to create the Globiflow in and you always want to refresh from Podio this makes sure you have the most updated information as you can see now I have my leads buyer or leads pursue and offers app that I just created in the previous videos show up in Globiflow and now so the first step is create the leads app the leads flow to the pursue app so you want to add new uh, new flow now we want to do a, a flow that's triggered by an item update this item update is going to be the status field that we update to pursue the value so click that and this first area to trigger to trigger on an update in the leads field now we have to do a filter we have to check to see which field has changed because we want to just only launch this flow on the change of the status field and we only want to launch this flow if the status field changes to the value of pursue so now anytime any other field changes or even the status field changes to something else besides pursue this won't launch off and you won't get some crazy stuff happening so now the actions so the action we want to create is just a create item action so we'll click the create item select the app we want to create the item in which would be the pursue app keep everything as is add field select the field relationship we want to add it to the current lead status set the value to working asking price we don't have an asking price yet well, actually in some instances you may have the asking price so you can set the value to that by selecting this clicking on this icon over here on the right and it'll give you the option to select a field from your lead so we have this in the lead the asking price and let's see any other fields we want to populate the rest of these the rest of the fields can't be auto populated because we don't know that information yet and we have to do further research on that property lead so this is the the general information we want to create in the new pursue lead and lastly I like to add a comment field so here's the field we want to add the action we want to add is add comment so this will add a comment to the the item that we're creating and so we have a little bit of history we can also do is add a task by adding a task it further gives you a, a queue and a to-do list to go into your pursue leads and gather the rest of the information that you need to create the offer the task summary would be gather further information for this lead select the due date say the current date plus one say we're going to do it tomorrow and the full description you can add more information there if you want close this so this is basically what you're doing so when you go into the lead app 
you change the status of that lead to pursue, it'll auto create a pursue record, auto populating these three fields lead relations, status, and asking price. It'll create a comment that you added pursue record, and then it, assigned, it creates a task that is assigned to you that tells you that you have to gather further information for this lead and the task is set for tomorrow. So you have a due date of tomorrow and further information. And if you're satisfied with that, you click Save. First you have to give it a name. Create Pursue Record. You can give it a description if you like and then hit Save. So that's the first step of the process. In the next video, I'll show you how to create the offer record by changing the status in the pursue record to make offer. Thank you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, email me at scott at strugglinginvestor.com. Thank you.